good day guys um this is for lecture two so moving on you click on your um, existing application now what we'll do is we take in image view now we're going to be changing the width to 40 the height to 40 then we are going to be putting a dict text now for the editors you change the margin for the left to 10 so there'll be space in between your image view and your edict text now what we're going to do next is this we're going to be changing the text size to 16 the text color we're going to be using white then we'll go to the hint most of us must have seen when you want to type something there's either a hint there so type url or okay or or search 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 google okay all search let's do it that way now what we'll do next is this the background color we'll change the background color to black okay let's say blue gray i prefer blue gray but you could change it to any of your colors any colors just be creative it's your app now the hint color i'm going to be using white so next what we'll do is to impute button like a search button like a search button now change the width to 40 and don't forget the margin the height to 40 so there will be space in between so your work will look in it now we'll go to the margin and we we'll put it for the left 10 you see now for in easy identification i'm going to be choosing go okay yes go like the way we did that of her that t and footer so that's for the identification but if i want my alphabet to be displaying on that button i will have to change the text i'm going to be using go for it then the text size i'll make it 16. now next what i will do is this i'm placing the web view web view that is where you can put in your um like google display google instagram facebook twitter um whatever whatever your website now next what we'll do we're going to be imputing six buttons below here just try and be creative whatever is sketch on the pen you bring it out through sketchware app now what we are going to be doing now the width of this button we are going to be changing it to 40 the height we are going to be changing it to 40 now for the next one so let's let's do it accordingly change all widths change all height 40 height 40 height 40 width 40 so watch closely and mind you a manual will be brought out for this there are some people that are good with what they can read for more understanding so a manual is going to be out for 
for you to be able to understand better. So the height and the width change to 40. Change to 40. So one more last button. Go over it again. 40. The height. 40. Now, we go over for margin. So it'll be space. Make it 10. Margin for button 4. 10. Save. The next button 10. Always put your margin in the left. Because if you put for hold, it won't be it will be appropriate. But you could actually give it a try and see how it will, it, will, it will come out. So be creative, be creative, be creative, sorry. All should be zero. But that of the left should be 10. Now, for this button, I'll be changing it to my like, it, it should be, its function should be for previous. Its function should be for previous. So I'm going to be putting a symbol for that. So previous. Then the middle button, I'm going to be using it for the refresh. So I'm going to put in a refresh symbol. Let's go with the blue. Now the other button should be for. You're going forward, like if you if you went back on your app, on your page, on the page that you are, you can go forward and backward. Now this button should be for exit, like you want to exit the app or the page. Yes, you want to exit the page. Sorry. So I'm going to be using a dangerous button, which is no go area <laughs> now for this it's going to be zoom in zoom in and zoom out so i'm going to be using the plus and minus symbol for this so zoom in you can be creative whatsoever symbol you want to use get to it it's your app it's yours so this the minus now what we'll do change the text size to 16 change the text size to 16 so that's it for lecture 2 hope you understand thank you very much from sj tech signing out sj tech sj tech